What you drinking there, buddy? An adult beverage. An adult beverage. Yeah. A thrashing beverage. So we're gonna make your bike safe and give it some noise. Because <laughs> wild pipes save lives. That's and, right. And you know, I think you need it. So something's better than nothing. We got a buddy who happened to have upgraded his pipe to a two into one. Um, and we we're just talking to him, shooting the breeze, you know, at a coffee shop, one of our favorite ones, revved up. Yeah, dude. And uh, he offered just got to, him there on a random day. He offered to, to give them to you. So. Yeah. So check him out on Instagram. Uh, sweet dude, just really cool. Uh, his Instagram handle is Basic Bagger LA. Um, yeah, so like Josh said, we caught him at the coffee shop at Revved Up. Um, told him about, he was looking at, we were all looking at uh, Josh's bike and was like, hey man, when are you going to get your exhaust? Um, I told him, you know, like full exhaust for right now, kind of like my plans for the bike. It's not, it's not in the immediate future. Um, and he's like, hey man, I got a set of uh, uh, Bassani slip-ons if you want them. And uh, found out that he was trying to sell them online, tried to offer him some money for it. And uh, turned me down flat. Uh, super cool. You should definitely check out his bike. He's got a sweet 22 Rogue Glide ST, ST yeah. um, which he's just going to make better. Um, it's got some some really sweet mods that are coming up, and, and the bike looks great right now. It's already so super clean. Definitely yeah. check it out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get to it. It's going to be a simple one, and, uh, yeah, make it safer. Live but to, but live to, pipe safe lives. to touch on all that, I would say, like, guys on motorcycles they're not don't make assumptions about guys on motorcycles don't yep. think just because we ride a bike that we're like total a-holes because we're not man a lot of us are good people a lot of us are just normal people with normal jobs we just, just... happen to enjoy two wheels i mean that's i yeah. don't see how that makes you you know any different yeah. um but the point of that is, is that i don't want to say his name i feel bad saying his name so this this guy basic bagger la we'll just say his tag how about that um because I don't know how much he wants to share. That's the point. I'm not yeah, trying we, to be weird here. I'm just yeah. saying that, you know, I don't know how much he wants, how much information he wants shared. Um, he's a really good guy. He's been really awesome with us. I met him um, at a revved up bike night. Yeah. Like one of the first ones we went to. He introduced us to another one of our friends um, who's a photographer. Maxine um, Akina. Yeah, that's his tag that's on Instagram. Some, if you don't check this stuff footage. out, then you're crazy because he... You must not be a fan of King of the Baggers. Man, he is... He's killing it. He's yeah. killing it right now. Um, yeah. Just got back into town from uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, 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 Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Milwaukee. Um, but anyway, so so the, my point is that we met these two guys at a bike night. We ended up going to another bike night. We went to Tacos and Harley's yeah. with them at yeah. uh, Tacos Way. And we just had a good time with these guys. They're yeah. really chill. They're really easy to get along with. Um, and my point is, is that like you don't have to be part of some club or group to hang out with them the, the yeah. club or group that you are a part of is being on two wheels being on a motorcycle it, it really is guys so my point is is that if you see somebody on a motorcycle don't assume anything about them um assume that you can be their friend assume that, yeah. that they're cool and and um just come and approach them like be nice to them you know we all mean? love talking about bikes and we all want to be around the the whole atmosphere of motorcycles and and you get to asking someone about their bike I mean, we walked up, we were talking about some new mods that he made, and we were there for an hour. Yeah. Just, I might have even been there longer, but. Crap, just shooting the, shooting the, the stuff. But like, uh, just, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, we're just normal people, man. Yeah. We're just normal people. And we and, love motorcycles. Uh, we really do. We love to ride, and that's kind of like, at the heart of it all, that's how we get along. Um, yep. So anyway, but, but also be safe. And for sure. uh, if you drive in a cage, then look out for motorcycles please yeah, for um, sure because you might be on a motorcycle okay. one day <laughs> yeah that's okay and, if you're and you'll understand it. you know but uh you know we're we get like like we've talked about you know just sharing the road and like being cautious and everybody looking out for everybody else and yeah yeah enough I mean, rant we're yeah, gonna go let's get this done later parts we'll start from the easy ones gloves always a must because it's a filthy job anti-seize we found out the hard way trying to take the pipes off from uh, our buddies uh, stock 
full exhaust system that he removed and he had left the smaller pipe on so it was a little bit of a pain so definitely add some anti-seize where the uh, slip-on goes onto the pipe obviously good old socket and extension always works well got a little 5 16 that's for the that's heat for the guard yeah the heat guard clamps the half inch is for the bolts on top and i'll show you those real quick so it's for these ones right here um, that actually hold it to the cage and then that's the half inch then the uh, funny thing about this we were just talking um so there's a bolt that actually clamps the slip on onto the exhaust the the full exhaust system the uh thing that's a little annoying is that one side so your left side um, uses a standard part or a standard size which is nine sixteenths and then the right side uses a metric and like we were talking it's probably for a cost issue but it's the metric size is the 15 millimeter so let's, sh let's show them real quick yeah yeah so the clamp on this side is much larger obviously so it uses a different size clamp the other side has a smaller clamp because look at look at the difference i don't know if you can see the difference here but yeah, so the clamp size is different so i assume that changes the size of the bolt that clamps it i don't know for sure but anyway so i digress that's where we're at easy peasy uh, we'll get started. Let's get this get this done. Got the heat shielding off. You only need to take one of them off on this side. Uh, but got after the anti-seize thing is, a, is critical the anti-seize is critical it makes it such a pain in the butt for it to not seize on there so this is the larger end obviously yeah there is a little notch at the end there so you, once you come to the end you kind of have to like twist it yeah. locks it on so it doesn't go falling off so let's get the other one off well, let's pop this guy on first all right might as well while we're here yeah, yeah? let's do it what you got there bub so the critical part anti-seize I mean, I don't know if it's like do or die. Gonna, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. We're, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. But our buddy Basic Bagger easier. LA said that it would make a difference, so we're going to give it a shot. So, what you think? We're just going to compare one to the other real quick. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to run one, dude. Might as well. Dude, I mean, the it's difference. Not, not no, freaking but I don't think very many people show this. Look at the difference, where it sticks out, how it looks. Right, guys 
So, finished up. Got the install done. Yeah. What you think? I actually think I think for a slip-on option, it's a pretty good option. It was first of all, it's easy to install. So easy. It, You'll see. I mean, we had some mishaps along the way, as always, as most installs do. But it's very Not simple. Not as many as before. No, it's very simple. It's getting better. Um, I think for the price too, like when you think about it, the amount that that the two into one systems cost. I mean, I think the cheapest two into one you can get is probably eleven hundred bucks, maybe twelve hundred. Yeah, and it's not um, even that good. And those aren't the decent ones, really. The the, the better ones, ones like go up into two. Yeah, yeah. and then so higher. So, in my opinion, if you spend the five hundred or six hundred bucks, I mean, luckily you didn't have to spend it. You got hooked up yeah, by a I friend. Got, I got hooked up. But um. For you sure. know, if you spend the five check or out bucks, basic basic bagger LA, check uh, them out. Clean bike, super clean bike, clean bike. super, super good cool dude. dude. Yeah, um, um, but your bike, I mean, how do you feel? What's the butt dyno tell the you? The butt, I was just gonna say, butt dyno solid. There's definitely an improvement. Now, I don't know if there's any measured horsepower change, but I feel like it's just a tad bit torquier, a tad bit quicker off the line, and the sounds awesome. Uh, so, don't forget, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. Comment, for yeah. sure. Right. I hope you guys are enjoying all the content that we're making. We're trying to bring you the best stuff that we can. So we're working we'd hard. love to collaborate. So yeah. if anybody wants to make a video together, I'd love to do that. Hit us um, up. There's a lot of things that we're trying to do. We're trying to make some moves here. So, But we're always trying to find, find time, time on two wheels. wheels.